Apple today held an event in America where they announced the refreshed MacBook lineup, which has definitely been long awaited for. It's been four years since the last update, and what they announced today was pretty cool. So the big announcement today was the announcement of three new MacBooks, specifically three new MacBook Pros. You have a standard 13-inch, a 13-inch with touch bar, and a 15-inch with touch bar. I'll explain the touch bar bit in a minute. So the three MacBooks have a whole new design. They're designed to look just like the 12-inch MacBook that was announced a couple of years ago. That's the design language approach they've taken with this one. The keyboard's the same, it's that kind of more subtle, clicky, tappy keyboard um, with that old new advanced technology. You've got a really big trackpad on them, it's two times bigger than the one on the past MacBook. And as well, you've got that super, super bright and beautiful retina display. 63% brighter than the last one. And again, it's got this new thing that all Technum companies are using called True Color to make the colors look even more like they do in real life. So the MacBooks are gonna come in three colors, space gray, silver, which is like what the current MacBooks look like, and then matte black. Now the matte black one is very exciting because I think that could be a real, real stealthy computer. They're all made of aluminium as of the, all the past MacBooks being made of, so there's not much change there. But the big announcement uh, was this new touch bar, which is gonna be on the 13-inch uh, and the 15-inch models. Um, basically what that does is it allows you, it replaces the function keys on the keyboard Basically, it's an LED retina display, a mini one that fits at the top of the keyboard, which you can use um, for different things. So in Pages, you'll be able to change the font with it. When you hop into Safari, it'll be all about um, your different tabs that you've got open, what websites you're on, things like that. In Photoshop, it'll be editing photo options, brightness, things like that. And then when you're on the home screen, it'll have all those normal functions um, like used to, so you'll be able to control the audio settings, brightness settings. So it's basically a more futuristic option for the function keys. Make it more personal to you. And you can edit exactly what's on this touch bar um, to how you use your computer. So you can put what on there, what you use your Mac for. Next to the touch bar, you've got Touch ID sensor, new to the MacBook, and this is to make payments online, on websites, um, that support Apple Pay. So now if you're buying something of Etsy, for example, you could just put your fingerprint on it and pay automatically for you through Apple Pay, through the website, on your MacBook. It's also gonna be used for top-notch security, so you'll use it to unlock your MacBook again, and different users will be able to use it as well. So whichever user puts their finger on it, it'll automatically log them into their account with their documents, with their settings. One other thing I'll just mention about these new laptops is the ports on them. You've got um, USB-C ports and that's it. So four USB-C ports on each MacBook with a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. They're gonna be for charging, they're gonna be display ports, they're gonna be VGA ports, they're gonna be USB ports. Basically, you've got to buy the adapters to go with your computer to use all the tech that goes with it, which is really, really annoying. That's a bad apple, bad, bad apple. Otherwise, I think these laptops are pretty cool. So what are the specs like for these three MacBooks? Well, the mid-range 13-inch one, the one with the touch bar, um, starts at an, with an Intel Core i5 processor, um, Intel Iris 550 graphics, uh, eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigs, super fast SSD, much faster than ones of the past MacBooks. The 15-inch top model with the touch bar, that starts with an Intel Core i7. It's got AMD Radeon graphics in it, which is very, very impressive. Starting at 16 gigabytes of RAM, it can be upgraded though, um, as much as you need, as well as that 256 gigabyte uh, SSD, which can again be upgraded to a two terabyte SSD. Super fast, super good. On the lower end, 13 inch map, but without the touch bar, so it's just a normal keyboard. Uh, inside, again, you've got Intel Core i5 processor, slightly lower Intel Iris 440 graphics, I believe, and starting eight gigabytes of RAM. So really, it's not that much of a downgrade. You just don't get that fancy touch bar and the Touch ID sensor. So basically, 
it's just a normal MacBook with the design refresh. And that MacBook is going to replace the MacBook Air. The MacBook Air no longer exists anymore. So the starting prices for these devices, the standard 13 inch is uh, 1,500. The mid-range 13 inch is 1,799. And the top of the range starting price is 2,399. So obviously when you get your upgrade options on, we're probably more looking at like three thousand, three and a half thousand dollars for the top range MacBook Pro. Orders start today. You can head over to apple.com and get your order in now. And these MacBooks will start shipping within two weeks. So really, if you want to get your hands on a device, you've not got long to wait. Thanks for watching this tech news update, guys. See you in the next one.